Hello, good people. It's Rob Lee. I want you to look at the screen, and this is something that is sold in churches and promoted in churches and online, that if you want to protect yourselves, you should get yourselves a necklace or a chain, and in it, you should get a hexagram, a six-pointed star, which is the sign of the devil, the star of Remphan, Acts, excuse me, Amos 5.26, Acts 7.43. This is the mark of the devil. And this is what has become of America. This is who these people are now. To put something around your neck that is of the devil, believing that somehow they have put the cross of Jesus inside of a hexagram, inside of the mark of the damn devil. This is how delusional and stupid the Jewish supporters and the church people have, have become. This is where we really are. They deny God the Father, Jesus Christ, and the Bible, but worship the enemy of God. Evil sorcery on the necks of stupid and naive people. What is this guy, what are these people, what are they afraid of? Why are they always afraid of something? Why are they always accusing us of what they are? What are they afraid of? I want to talk about a little bit today about identity theft. This is part one. In the future, I'd even like to do a volume two, three, four, uh, just some things I want to show you, some mysteries. And this is kind of a short video. I just want to teach this because I want people to understand it. The consensus and the big view is that the people, the people called Jews are the Israelites. They are the people called Israel. Now, the word Israel comes from a man named Jacob, and Father God Almighty changed his name to Israel. Okay? Now, I've made videos about it, and if you've never seen my video, it's 50 minutes long. It says, uh, I will prove who you are and where you come from. But I just want to show you something to show you how simple it is to disprove these people. And yet, I could take this into any church in America, England. It wouldn't matter. Scandinavia, Europe, they would say, hey, we don't want to acknowledge it. In Genesis chapter 35, verse 10 and 11, God says this. And God said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. Okay, now pay attention now, folks, because you'll know this for the rest of your life. And God said unto him, I am God Almighty. Be fruitful and multiply. Then he says it. A nation and a company of nations, nations, nations shall be of thee. So God is saying a nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, that you are going to morph into one nation, and then you are going to be a company, a, a host of nations. The Jews have never done that. Blacks have never done that. And kings shall come out of thy loins, okay? So just think about that. Now, think about what's said, and then think about this. What do these people, the real Israelites, what did they morph into? How about the United States, Canada, England, Scotland, Ireland, Germany, France, Spain, Hungary, Italy, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Russia, Switzerland, Australia, South Africa, New Zealand, and a host of other countries and nations, some that I did not mention, and many that have merged or changed their names throughout the millennia and centuries. These are the Israelites, all right? These are the original Israelites. And yet you have the people called Jews pretending to be these people. And it is the biggest identity theft and hoax in the history of mankind. And it's not even close, man. And this is just for openers. I'm In a future video, I'm going to do volume two. And I'm going to show you where it actually began. It started earlier than what you can possibly imagine. Now I ask Google. I ask BitChute. I ask corporations. I ask pastors. I ask churchgoers, I asked the Jewish people, I asked the so-called black Israelites, where are your mighty nations and company of nations? Now, all these nations are my heritage, my people. Please show me yours. Now, it says that uh, in the verse we just read that kings will come out of your loins. And almost all these countries, they had kings and queens. This is something the Jews have never done, not even remotely close. See, this is just one little passage that proves it wrong there it is i mean it puts it right in your face but why what are we talked about earlier at the video what is everybody afraid of what are these people right here what is he afraid of 
He's afraid of this book right here because it's God's word. It's God's truth. That's why they are afraid of it. Now think about the war that we have on the 1611 King James Version Bible. Why? Why such a war on it? Why is there no war on the Quran? Or what about the Talmud? Why is there no war on those? Why is there no war on Muhammad, Buddha, Krishna, Kali? Why is there only a war on Jesus Christ? Because it's the only truth.